Begin by safely raising and supporting the vehicle to remove the wheels. Please follow the link provided at the end of this video if you need additional assistance with that task. You do not need to remove the wheel well liner to perform this work, but it will give you extra room. Support the wheel carrier with your floor jack indicated by the red arrow. Use two 22 millimeter wrenches and remove the lower control arm from the front shock red arrows. During installation, this will be tightened to 150 newton meters or 111 foot pounds plus 90 degrees. You will need to secure the upper control arm to the top of the wheel housing in order to prevent the wheel carrier from dropping. Porsche recommends using a spring compressor, tool number VW552, to do so. If you do not have access to one, fix the upper control arm in place with some rope. Remove the floor jack. You will loosen, but do not remove the lock nut on the bottom of the ball joint by using a 27 millimeter wrench. During installation, this will be tightened to 130 newton meters or 96 foot pounds. Use a ball joint spreader to separate the ball joint from the lower control arm indicated by the red arrow. On the two eccentric washers holding the lower control arm to the chassis subframe, use a marker to mark at least two straight lines on each of the washers. You will use this to help facilitate an exact fit during installation. You will still need to get the vehicle aligned after this job, but this will get you close enough that you can drive it to an alignment shop. Use two 21 millimeter wrenches and remove both screws holding the lower control arm from the chassis to the subframe. Red arrows. During installation, these will be tightened to 170 newton meters or 126 foot pounds. When tightening these, make sure to support the arm so that it is level with the ground. Tightening it while lowered will put undue stress on the mounts and cause premature wear. Once the control arm is lowered from the chassis subframe, you can disconnect the lock nut on the ball joint. If you plan on using the old control arm, be sure to inspect the rubber boot on the ball joint for any cuts along with the mounting points on the lower control arm for wear and debris indicated by the red arrow. You may need to clean the area around the body of the vehicle that has interacted with this point and installation is the reverse of removal. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.